Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry. with the Showbiz Top 5 for Wednesday. It's March the 24th. What is up with Brad Pitt's beard? Didn't you think at first he was growing that long thing for some sort of character in a movie role? Well, this has been the longest beard growing for a character role experience ever. Well, it turns out it wasn't for a movie part at all. Brad is simply bored. He says there's no other reason than that. How can a man be bored with six kids and you get to go home and sleep in the same bed with Angelina Jolie every night? Poor Angelina having to look at that thing. All right, Beyonce does have a new baby brother. The DNA test did confirm that Matthew Knowles is that baby daddy. Uh, her name is Alexandra Wright, and she gave birth to little Nixon back in the late winter, or actually late 2009, so the early winter. Matthew and Alexandra are now having to deal with those sticky little child support arrangements, but I wonder if Beyonce is going to send over a gift for the new Bubba. All right, the men and women of Jersey Shore, they are preparing themselves for season two, doing what it's necessary, bulking up, taking care of their bodies. Vinny is said to be in the gym every day. The situation taking care of his situation. Snooki doing some accessory shopping, saying she's got to buy lots of bronzer and hair clips. Now, DJ Polly D, he's of course in the gym every day, taking care of the tanning, the gym, and the laundry. Is that the right order? TGL? Is that how it goes? I forget. GTL. Gym tanning and laundry. That's it. And uh, they say, though, in fact, that his tanning bed that he is loved for so long. He's actually going to auction that off at the end of season two, and the proceeds are going to go to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So that's pretty cool of DJ Polly D. Now, why did Michelle Bombshell McGee finally break with this story? She says she had an 11-month affair with Jesse James, and then just a week ago, she sold her story for $30,000 to a tabloid. Well, it's because she was a woman scorned. Jesse told her that he and Sandra Bullock were separated, and while she was, you know, down filming the, bro the Blind Side is when this affair began with Michelle, and he told her that once filming's wrapped, I'm gonna leave her and make it public, and we're done, and then there's room for you, my darling, and she believed him. And then once the movie wrapped, Jesse stayed with Sandra. A little more time passed, and suddenly it's Oscar season, and Jesse's by Sandra's side the whole time, and it was enough to tick Michelle off. So she sold that story and uh, went public with the affair. Now, Kim Kardashian and Reggie Bush, sources are saying this time it's it. They broke up last year, got back together, tried it again, but now Kim's been pushing for marriage, especially since Chloe got married and then, you know, her other sister Courtney had a baby. She's like, Tom is ticking here, I'm the oldest sister, I should be doing these things. Well, Reggie, you know, had to have a little heart to heart with himself. And he realizes that Kim, even though he loves her and he admires her ambition and her drive and her career success, it's not the woman he wants to marry. He wants a woman who will stay home and be his support system and will stay home and raise his babies. And he realizes Kim's probably not the one to do that since she's so busy with her own career, having the paparazzi follow all the time, flash bulbs in their faces. It's just more than he can deal with. So for her own good, he let her go. And uh, so sources say she's taking it pretty hard, but she's keeping a stiff upper lip for the press and that this is finally the end of those two. And that is your show this top five for Wednesday.